Welcome back to Princess Maker Refine. In the last episode, Hitomi turned 18, but the game didn't end. Which is weird. But we're going to talk to her in a stern voice anyway. I'm going to assume that for whatever reason, we're just going to keep going. And I mean, I don't know. I don't know if I bugged something or if the game ends on her 19th birthday or what the deal is. So we're just going to keep on going like we were. We'll see what happens. I mean, we're still going. I may have bugged the game, to be honest. I was on vacation. Just in case I did wind up bugging something, I saved the game in a different slot. That way I can go back and deal with it if there's some sort of issue. But every Princess Maker game ends on when they turn 18. Unless prin this Princess Maker ends at the end of the year when she turns 18? I don't know. Who knows? We'll find out, right? This is, an, this is the Parker Falcons Let's Play Extravaganza, where it's your Let's Play 2, and that includes discovering weirdness and trying to figure that out because of a result of discovering weirdness. I mean, if I have to, I'll just reload the one save and I won't send her on vacation three weeks in a row. Maybe that's what did it. Who knows? But this will give us another shot at possibly getting the next uh, title for our swordsmanship abilities. And it is now summer, so we'll stick her in her white, very boobulous dress. Okay, 6-1. Everything seems to be going fine. I'm scared. I'm scared and confused. Summer dress. With the fish earrings. And the schedule keeps seeming to work, so... Labor, labor, church. And... I mean, soon she's going to be at maximum stamina if 999 is the limit. And maybe it's not. Actually, it may not be because her hit points up here are in four digits. So maybe she can actually break a thousand. Hopefully that doesn't crash the game either. You never know. You never know with Princess Maker, especially old games and old ports and old everything. Ah, she got it. A thousand hit points. Thousand two. She's still making it. Hopefully the jerk doesn't scale up with her, but... You never know. The instructor. Called him a jerk. Man, if I had known that the game wouldn't end on her 18th birthday, then I could have budgeted around that and we could have gotten the best weapon in the game. I mean, I guess we can still go for it. Her stress is still really high, but... I mean, we'll, we'll, we'll work with that. We'll figure it out. I am curious, though, that the artwork didn't change when she turned 18. To me, that makes me feel like something just bugged. Um, what I will do is pro- You know what? I'm actually gonna do it now. I'm gonna pause the episode, and I'm gonna see if the game ends on her 19th birthday or what the hell's going on. Hold on a moment. Okay, I just looked up a wiki, and every information I'm seeing, whether it's the wiki or an FAQ or anything, <laughs> is telling me that the game ends when she turns 18. So I think we've bugged something. So I'm glad I saved in a different slot. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna keep this going. I'm gonna see what happens when she friggin' turns 19. We'll see. Maybe nothing bad will happen at all. Maybe everything will explode. But I kept a backup save and who knows. Maybe had, maybe I, I don't know. I don't know, man. I don't know anything that's going on anymore. Maybe it's because I sent her on vacation three times. Maybe it's the specific date. Who knows? Anyway, I'm just going to play this out, and we're going to see what happens when she turns 19, if she makes it to 19, and if I don't explode the game. And the way I record, even if something goes wrong, I believe it's not going to it's not going to kill my recording. So, if she is still messed up at that point happy if, if she was if she still messed up at that point i can always uh wow her morality stayed nice and high this time um i'll just restore the one save i have and we'll go from there and yeah you guys you guys know the plan you guys know the plan uh <sighs> well fuck it let's go for the best weapon in the game then since it's gonna since the game is gonna give me a break or a bug, then I may as well just go for it. But yeah, apparently the game is supposed to end when she turns 18. 
She's clearly 18. Huh. I don't know, man. This whole playthrough's been weird. Everything's weird. Princess Maker is weird. The company that did this is weird. Who knows, maybe someone will find a find my last video and I'll probably title it something to attract someone's eyes and I don't know, maybe someone will find it and figure out what happened. I guess I could... What I'll do between episodes is I'll, I'll actually Google search for bugs for this game. It's really hard for me. I actually stumbled upon the guide that uh, KDOC47 found and forwarded to me about speaking to her. Um, but... And I kind of had to skim that thread to make sure I didn't catch any spoilers or threshold numbers. But I did I did accidentally see that some of the numbers are supposed to break a thousand. Uh, someone managed to get the queen ending with like four or five stats over a thousand. So this stamina thing probably isn't causing any harm. I assume what caused harm was vacationing three weeks. In <laughs> I don't know if that did something. All right, so I talk to you. All right, we're gonna work again. Labor, labor, church. Go, go. Oh man. Well, can't say it hasn't been an adventure because it certainly has been an adventure, and it may be a bad adventure. It may be an adventure that's gonna crash and burn, but whatever. We, we have all had fun here today. Especially Hitomi. I'm sure Hitomi has had fun while she's plotting to poison my food. Stab me in the eye. <sighs> now I'm arguing with myself again. We could give the guy a shot. The instructor. We could give the instructor a shot to earn the next title. But. But. I don't think we'd be able to really... I don't think we'd do any better, so we should just save up for the weapon, which costs 3000 Stop dropping holy books in mop water, please. Hitomi. Okay, stern voice. And schedule. Oh, harvest festival, cool. Let's go smack some people around then. We we're doing pretty well on that. I forgot to put her in her autumn dress again. Ah well. It's not like it's not like the friggin' tournament has a dress code, clearly. With Wolf Lady or whatever her name is, Wolf Chief. Hi you. Wow, that's a positively conservative outfit given what Wolf Chief wears. Wow, she's actually causing me some problems. Okay, she just submitted. That's weird. Okay. Doing alright. Doing alright. Whoa, I hit him once and he quit? Holy crap. I'm not even paying attention at this point. I'm just clicking attack. Because now, I don't really need to pay attention to hit point numbers. I'm just clicking. Like, other than va- Ooh, ooh, oh crap. Hitomi's in trouble. Hitomi is in trouble. Ah, oh, she barely won. Wow, little lady, you're strong. Yay, suck it, Ivan. Oh, wow, dude, you look really clueless how to hold a weapon. Maybe I shouldn't mock you in case you actually beat me down. He's dodging pretty well. Oh, couldn't survive, though. Losing to a girl. Sexist. Shut up. You lost to the strongest, most uh, stamina fit person in the freaking kingdom right now. Uh, don't care, don't care, don't care. Clicky, 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 clicky. Clicky, 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 clicky. <sighs> okay. Stern voice. And autumn dress. Who? Although, who cares? Autumn dress, and then schedule. And... What are we doing? Let's do church twice, and then rest her. She's probably pretty tired. I think her stress was over 100 at this point. So, keeping that morality nice and strong. Oh, man. This is weird. 
This, is, this feels anticlimactic knowing the game didn't end when it was supposed to, and then further knowing that it was probably a bug. It just... I don't know. It, it feels like... It feels like I w got to the end of a movie, and rather than just an extra credit sequence, a post-credit sequence, there's another four scenes of post-whatever dialogue. It actually reminds me of a uh, Mark Wahlberg movie called Shooter, which... Wasn't that a remake of something? Maybe Shooter? I don't freaking know. Anyway, he's a sniper. And the whole situation is he's tricked into assassinating the president, I think. And then the movie is about how he goes on the run and tries to prove his name right. And the climax of the movie is he does prove his name right and everything is happy and everything's great. Except there's one last piece of unfinished business but that piece of unfinished business goes on for minutes while he does the final scene. And it's just, it, I don't know, it felt way too much for being a post-climactic scene. It was sort of a, just in case you haven't seen it, I don't want to spoil the movie, even though it's like 15 years old or 10 years old at this point, I think. But anyway, so even though for the plot's sake, it made sense to end it where it finally did it just felt like the pacing of the movie was wrong and i even distinctly remember watching the movie the first time because i was I, i'm huge into snipers i like snipers and what they do out there in the military and i i watched the first time i watched that movie i felt that something was off with that last scene because it, it made sense it tied up a loose end but at the same time it was just so weirdly placed it didn't feel right I don't know. I don't know if that makes any sense. So, since it's already December, I don't think we've got enough time to get enough money to get that last weapon. But I don't think she's strong enough to deal with the guy, the instructor, anyway. So, Christmas Eve. Uh, what did she lose? She lost the collection plate? Is that what it said? <laughs> Jeez, man. Three months until the fateful day. Okay, so this is... So... What? Alright, so the game does end when she turns 19, not 18. Or something got messed up with something. What? 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 Okay, whatever. Three months until the fateful day. Okay, so, so now I know I didn't bug anything. All right, that's good. That, mean, that means there's no artwork update between 17 and 18. That's weird. Why did I get extra time? Um, all right, in that case, now that we know it does end, let's try, let, let's try it. Let, let's try it anyway. And if it doesn't work, we will go from there. We'll make some more money. Okay, cool. So we'll, so, no, okay, knowing that we now have three months to go, and knowing that we can't afford the best weapon, we'll just try again against this guy. That's what I was trying to say. I'm, I apologize for explaining things twice. I think I've mentioned before I tend to do that because of my old writing habits. That's how I write strategy guides. And it's nothing... While I'm trying not to directly insult the reader, I know that some readers pick up that kind of information faster than others, so I have to assume for the sake of writing, that you don't know what I'm talking about, and I have to kind of describe it in more and more detail. And I've started doing that when I speak, which isn't always for the best. I never want you to think I'm patronizing you, or I don't want anyone to think I'm patronizing them. Just, I don't know, I just can't explain things with one blast and assume you've got them. Plus, one of my fears is being misunderstood. I have a legit but probably irrational fear that if I say something and I'm misunderstood like I freak out because communication is a huge part of what I do and it's a huge part of who I am. You know, I'm, I'm the kind of person who doesn't think bad things can ever be... Like any... Most bad things can be forgiven or worked out if people just talk to each other, I feel. That's how I try to run relationships, and that includes business relationships. Like, if you ever have a problem with me, you talk to me privately, we work it out, everything's good. So, I have this 
paranoia of being misunderstood. Especially in writing, since I think I'm a better writer than a speaker. Although, I know I tend to be very rigid with my writing, which is also from how I've been trained. Like, I'm not as friendly with my writing as I used to be. Just because over the years of IGN, I had to keep... Um, I had to be more direct, especially when things... Like, I, IGN, IGN changed a lot of its writing style when it went to the wiki form for strategy guides. So strategy guides are, are written in one style. Reviews are kind of written in another style. Because with reviews, you're kind of having a conversation with your audience. You're trying to discuss how a game is good or bad. And so they encourage a little bit more friendliness in the reviews. With the wikis, since literally anyone can write it, they want you to be direct. Because people come to wikis not for jokes, but for direct information for the game they're trying to play. So that was always a weird dichotomy for me because I was always used to writing a friendly style back when I did FAQs for GameFAQs.com. And when I first did guides for IGN, it was okay to be more individual because wikis weren't a thing yet. Oh my god, I'm old. Wikis weren't a thing yet, so you only had the writer's voice to go off. And like I said, things changed. Um, things changed and... I don't know, it just became more rigid and then I got used to that style of writing. Plus with my novel, I can't be friendly because a, you know, a novel, you shouldn't be friendly. You can have a certain storyteller voice, you can have a certain pacing, but you can't be cracking jokes against your own characters or whatever, then the reader won't take it seriously. Boy, that was a long explanation for something as benign as, well, whatever. Anyway, one month until the fateful day. How are your, how are your numbers? You are very stressed out right now. Let's, uh, let's work you as a laborer, and then we'll let you rest, and then we'll let you go to vacation. How about that? Hopefully I won't bug something again this time. Or not bug it, whatever. Whatever happened. Oh, man. I don't know. I, I don't know, and I'm not complaining. Maybe her blood type got me an extra year for some reason. Maybe she's such a child that it takes an extra year to raise her to adulthood. Come on, Atomi, you can make it. And I, as you can tell, even though we've got the cash, I just sort of gave up on getting the title. It doesn't really matter. Wow, man, her stress reset to zero again. Goodness, T, I'm so happy. Okay, cool. And... I guess we'll just finish her off with laborer in church as we've been doing. It was pretty. The day before the fateful day. Uh, uh, okay. So it's the fateful uh, Eve? It's fateful Eve? Uh, here, dress in your distracting outfit. And then we'll see what happens. Hey there, future past something pyro talking. After I clicked that button, the ending went super crazy fast, so I'm kind of having to do a little bit of, uh, tacked-on narration. So here was our ending. Time flew by as fast as an arrow through the sky. Just like that, eight years passed by, as if they were a dream. Thanks to the endless affection and guidance she received from Falcon, Hitomi grew up to be a truly inspiring person. Hitomi received high marks on assessments all her life, starting when she was a little girl, thanks to the exceptional education she received from her foster father, Falcon. Say that five times fast. This was to such an extent that by the time she turned 18 years old, there was not a single person in the country who did not know her name. Hitomi married a wealthy man who adored her and started a family with him. Though he was an ordinary and boring man, all right, with no particularly special features, he was a man who cherished his family. Hitomi had a happy marriage and gave birth to eight children. Good God, she had an entire baseball team come out of there. People often said that it was all thanks to Hitomi's tough physique. Oh, cool. Just like that, time flew by. As Hitomi's husband's health was not exceptional to begin with, as he grew older, there were many instances when he was bedridden with sickness. However, thanks to Hitomi's constant care, 
he was able to live to the age of 74. Hitomi became a widow, but she was surrounded by her countless children and grandchildren, was able to live a healthy and a beautiful life. As she continued to live her life with a bright smile on her face and continued to work hard and eat healthy, time flew by, and it seemed no time at all that she reached the age of 123 years old. This was the longest anyone had ever lived. Three days before Hitomi's 124th birthday, she passed away peacefully. All of the people of the nation cried in sorrow. She was looked up to by all the nation, and her existence was that of a national treasure. The day of her passing became a new national holiday, which was to be celebrated as a day of prayer for longevity and health for generations to come. Thank you for all your hard work for the last eight years, and congratulations! With all the high appraisal she received, your daughter grew up to be a respectable adult. This is also thanks to your education. You were an exceptional father. Other than that one time when you beat her, beat her over the head with her own stuffed toy. But hey, that's all that matters. Uh, the, the ends justify the means or something. Hooray! I'm kind of proud of myself on that one. Like, she, even though she grew up to be a freaking housewife, which is what I was trying to avoid again, at least getting there, she got to do something really special and different and unique, and she was known. She wasn't super common like Momiji was in Princess Maker 2. So I'm sort of happy with that. Could have been better, but... Being a B-type who was useless at combat? Eh, I'll take what I can get. I'm pretty happy with that. So as you're seeing now, you're seeing the stats of her. Of course, you could pause the video, and you're also seeing the credits roll of the people who made the game. Much appreciated to them, and especially much appreciated to them for not suing me for doing a Let's Play or whatever. And I hope you guys enjoyed the ride for this one. Uh, Hitomi could have been better, I guess. But you know what? Again... At least the, she left a legacy, you know? She had all these kids, presumably a bunch of grandkids as well. And, hey, she got a holiday named after her. Momiji Falcon Day. Or something. Whatever. Either way, I can consider this series complete with soundless fireworks. I'm kind of happy how things turned out. And hopefully you guys were too. And again, I will do Princess Maker 3 Refined when it comes out. And if there's enough demand, I'll replay this one again as well. Hopefully with not a bee-blooded lady, but who knows. Still wonder why it ended on her 19th birthday rather than her 18th. That was weird. Well, whatever. And it's not the strangest thing that's been on this channel. And if you're fairly new to the, to the show, check out some of the playlists that we have. Because we have done some fairly bizarre stuff. And if you came... If you found this channel through this game, don't forget to check out Princess Maker Refined 2, because that one also I didn't know what I was doing, but I sort of kind of worked it out toward the end, kind of, or something. I don't know. Closings. Thank you all very much for watching, and I will see you tomorrow for another series.